Welcome to emergency medicine video. In this segment, we will approach headache. We will discuss both the common and the must not miss causes of headaches in the emergency department. We will divide this into inside the brain and outside the brain. We will discuss inside brain first. We will further classify the inside the brain reasons based on the structures. What are the different structures of the brain? There are blood vessels, both arteries and veins. There's the brain parenchyma itself. And what surrounds the brain? Meninges and CSF. Our causes will be based on each structure. First, we will start with blood vessels. There are both arteries and veins in the brain. What can happen to that that can lead to headache? Bleeding from a ruptured artery, either into the epidural space, subdural space, subarachnoid space. The artery can also go into vasospasm, causing migraine. Let's move on to the veins. What can the veins do? It can clot, or also known as cerebrovenous thrombosis. Let's move on to the brain parenchyma. Any space occupying lesion in the brain parenchyma can lead to headache. They include blood, abscess, or mass. Let's move on to outside with the CSF and meninges. With CSF hydrocephalus and intracranial hypertension, also known as pseudotumor cerebri, can cause headache. In the meninges, infections such as meningitis and encephalitis can cause headaches. What about outside the brain? TMJ dysfunction can lead to headaches. So can an inflamed temporal artery and also known as temporal arteritis. In the eye, acute angle closure glaucoma will give people headache. Sinusitis can cause headaches. And going further down, tension headaches can be caused by tight muscles from the neck and shoulders. An external cause that we often forget is carbon monoxide poisoning. These will be the most common causes for headaches that's caused outside of the brain. Out of the ones we've discussed, which ones are the must not miss diagnosis? Inside the brain, almost all the diagnoses are must not miss. Therefore, it includes bleeding, thrombosis, space occupying lesions, infection, and intracranial hypertension. Outside the brain, we must not miss acute angle closure, glaucoma, and temporal arteritis because it can affect vision. The last one that is a must not miss is carbon monoxide poisoning. In summary, we discussed the causes of headaches. In part two, we will discuss the high yield history and physical. Thank you for watching.